Okay, so now I think enough of theory. Let's get into the action where you will learn to install Dynamics NAV for your practice, right? So let me just tell you what things you should know and then we'll jump into the installation process. So you need to download and install Dynamics NAV 2018. So have the software and hardware requirements ready. Then you install and configure SQL Server and IIS. If you do not install these, then uh, Dynamics NAV is going to install the by default versions which they which comes with Microsoft Dynamics NAV, which is Express Edition and IIS. And uh, what you need to do is just go ahead and download the Dynamics NAV 2018 software, which is under resources. You can find the link. And what we will be using for this course is Dynamics NAV 2018 W1 version for this course. So what we will talk about the functionality, the process flow, the, the demo, everything will be on Dynamics NAV 2018 W1. So let me show you the installation process quickly. So I have downloaded and uh, extracted the Dynamics NAV 2018 W1 file. You will see all those folders and files here. So now I'm going to right click on setup and run as administrator. So you just click on next. Okay, you can read the Microsoft terms and accept. So first is you install Dynamics NAV demo right so it includes dynamics nav windows client the development environment server office add-in for dynamics nav and demonstration database for demonstration with a demonstration license so you can choose this okay and it will be very quick other option is you choose the installation option that you want so what we'll be doing is either you want to install just client server development developer edition or custom components that you want to choose when you're doing multi-tier application uh, installation, it means server on one system, uh, client on different system, development environment on another system. So for that, you need to install specific things on the specific server. But for now, we'll be installing everything on one system. So I'll use custom and then I'm going to choose what are the things I need to install. So I'll just choose client. Then um, I'll go with the administration tool. I need to install server. Of course, I need SQL server. Outlook, I don't need it now. Uh, this is also not required. Just go ahead with web server and help server, right? So only these things you can choose and just click next. And then you will have the some configuration you need to see, right? So what is the server name, which is localhost, the current server, uh, the service name, which would be Dynamics NAV service, and what will be the service account that will run this service? So you can put that, keep it as it is. The ports you can keep as it is, no need to change. We'll go directly to the SQL server. So currently the server name is training. So I will keep it as it is. I have already installed SQL server. So I will just remove this instance because my SQL server name is training and this is the default instance. And it is going to install this SQL database in my SQL server, so that's okay. If you don't have SQL server installed, then you can just keep it as it is, whatever you have, and uh, system is going to install SQL Express uh, for your demo purpose, right? So you can do that. I have SQL server installed. I don't have to keep this instance name and don't have to change anything. Rest everything else I can keep as it is. Um, the web server, it's gonna be on 8080, and uh, help server will be on 49,000. So this is it. That's it we need to do and just click apply. So now what is going to do, it is going to take some time to install all the prerequisites if something is not available on my system. And uh, then it will take some time to install everything and then install all the components that we have chosen. So I'm going to pause this video now and uh, fast forward the installation so that uh, you don't have to keep waiting and looking at the screen, right? So I'll just pause this and uh, I'll come back once the installation is complete. All right, so now you can see that installation is complete. Now your system may restart a couple of times because uh, when it installs some prerequisites, that needs restart of your system. So don't worry about that. Just close the installation and um, close all the applications you have. Just restart your system. Then once you're restarted, then again start the setup. And in that case, it is going to ask you to modify the application installations, right? So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, what should I do? Just go ahead and click on modify and just move next, next and click on next. So what it is going to do, it is going to modify the existing installation, which was not the complete one. And you will get a message like the modification of Dynamics NAV has completed successfully. Now, if the installation doesn't need 
any restart of the system, you will see the installation has been completed successfully, right? So it doesn't matter with the message, but make sure that you don't get any warnings here. So you can see that there's no warning. It means all the components that we have chosen is installed correctly in this process, right? So this is the installation process. You can just click close. And now we have NAV server, NAV client, database, everything is installed that we have chosen. So that's it for this video. This is the quickest way to install Dynamics NAV on a single system. And in the next video, I'm going to explain you how to start using those clients. And then finally, we'll finish the installation module. All right. So that's it for this video. And I will see you in the next video tutorial.